Well, you guys, welcome back. And you know what? It really is a marshmallow world, yeah. and we're all just kind of just living, living in, in it. it. And here true. in Christmas Corner, we have our little marshmallow herself, <laughs> Orly Shanny. That's me. That's me. We all brought the. We were we all did. inspired by marshmallows we were. today. Right. White. Love the Look girls. at this. We coordinated. Exactly. Um, didn't coordinate, but somehow perfectly coordinated. Yeah. Um, yeah. This. This what is actually. Got? This is super cute. So I was inspired to do this because I made a couple weeks ago during Christmas in July little yes. Mr. Uh, Mrs. Santa Claus, Claus and Santa pillows. Those were we got so cute. Yeah. So much. But Email about Everyone that. really that. loved. I couldn't believe it. The They're response adorable. was so great. So we thought, why not come back into Christmas Corner and create maybe a little marshmallow? We brought a little snowman and the peppermint. Like and they really are like so smooshy. Oh my gosh. And Wait, so what is yummy. That voice? What is that? I think that's it's how my, you would it's speak. It's my marshmallow voice. I think that's how yeah. marshmallow. Oh my gosh. So smooshy. Look at me and my little cheeks. Wow. Is this full of the crispy treats that we just made? Yeah. Oh of the that's right. Crisp. That's I know right. I am. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's so really great, and this is a totally no-sew project, which oh, is wonderful. Perfect. Which is yeah. good for us. So what right. do we need? What, All right, what are so the materials? You're going to need some felt. Uh, okay. Any felt is going to do. They've got plush felt. They've got a stiffer felt. Just white felt is all okay. that you need. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, one yard is plenty. Okay. Then you're going to need something round. This is just the top of a Tupperware. You could sure. use a bowl. You could use anything. A Frisbee. A Frisbee. If Whatever this to. dimension is, is going to be this dimension. Oh, okay. like so it. this is what as big as it will be. Yep. So you'll lay it down and just take a marker and just trace it all the way around. Right. And you want to make sure that you're tracing it when your fabric is folded in half because that way when I cut Top it out, I'll end up with two pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh god. As opposed to, you know, don't you always yes. draw, you know, cut once. So here we've got our two little circles yeah, there. Okay. Easy peasy. So next what you're going to do is measure around. Oh, Shoot, I forgot my measuring yeah. tape. But basically what you would do is take your measuring tape all the way around here and like measure not the diameter, but actually all the way around. Oh, the circumference. Yes. And when you come together. Takes a little math. Thank you. Whatever that measurement is, add one inch to it. Oh, why? So I believe okay. that because you want to make sure you have enough to overlap. Got it. The same as oh, like right. a seam allowance, Got essentially. It. Got it. So once you have that dimension, we're going to do a little snip action. Oh. So this is it, right? This, when you open it up, when this is all the way rounded, it's going to be the dimension that we need. Yes. So what you want to make sure that you do is top and bottom, you're going to do these little snippets. You don't want to go much deeper than about a quarter of an inch because what this allows you to do is work around the circle. Yeah. So I'll show you. Turn it. Yes. So here we go. I'm going to take our hot glue, and you're going to go around the edge of the circle, but make sure that the if it has a right side and a wrong yeah, side, it's on tell. the outside. It's softer. Yeah, this okay. has a oh, plus side, yeah, so this, this is going to be the side. inside now. So make okay. sure that you do that. You're going to take a little bit of our hot glue, and you're going to work in sections because you don't want it to dry. Take your... Oh, um, where you've cut it. Yeah. And now, because oh, it's cut, it allows right. us to work our way around in a circle. There you go. See, so now it can be rounded, whereas if it wasn't cut, it would be. Yeah. It would, it would have just. It would get these little pleats. Gather. Yeah. Amazing. So you're gonna go. You, you can stop, Kim, because I have a little oh. swap out to show. Look at me. But, I was doing oh, good. Or oh, you got your finger. Oh. I know. That, that, See, wow. welcome to the DIY department. My goodness, Burned hot fingers. glue will really get I you. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Yep. So as you can see in there, it's been fully uh, all the way around in a circle. Okay, See? And now oh, we've yeah. got like our little casing. Yeah. So now we're gonna. Oh, Seth. He Seth. likes Seth it. Seth was like, oh. Ouch. <laughs> you were just taken aback by how cute he it was. was it's you? adorable. His son would love it. That was Both so cute. Them. So now we're gonna close up our pillow. So we're gonna basically, this is our back seam, and you're just gonna overlap it. So now we just take this part and overlap easy. it. No, it's okay. very easy. Oh, it's super simple. So here is our little like tub. This is going to be our marshmallow. So we'll stuff it. Now we're so going to stuff it. This whole thing is just oh my glue gun. It's it's just glue. And what's so that? This is pillow oh. stuffing. Okay. Oh. You're going to need it's uh, marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, right? It's actually like it. marshmallow. So let's see. Like this is a this uh 12 ounce bag it says. Let me see, okay. and that's about it, it was one full bag in order to do this. Hold on, let's put it Oh, thank more you. Oh, careful there. guys. I don't want you to get no, we won't. You sure you don't want me to do it? You make no, it nervous. No, we're DIY. No, yeah. you make me very well, nervous. You no, know, we're fine. You make, do we have liability insurance? We're fine. So what could possibly okay. go wrong? Okay. Oh, you guys. It's okay. You know it's what? It's you fine. did it. You did it. You I really did it. 
professional. So obviously, in That's real time, you're going to give it a little bit more time to dry before you stuff. But I wanted to make sure that you can see this kind of come together. Oh my God, okay. making Let's me so my hands are have completely yep. gone numb fine. now. It's oh, fine. For the love, okay. for the love of something. Yeah. Fine. Okay. It's fine. Turn so now I have no gorgeous. sensory feeling in my fingers. You just want to make sure that you kind of stuff it in a really, you know, smooth, flattering way. Make sure there's no big bumps and reserve a little bit at the end. Now, when we do our top. You're going to work your way around. Oh, you know what? I so sorry. I got carried away and I forgot yeah. to snip. So you would do oh, remember your top you and your snip bottom. The top yeah. too. You snip the top and the bottom, and right. I'm just going to show you a tiny part of this, and you would work your way around. So time for glue. Thank you. We're going to take a little bit of glue and work in small sections again, and we're going to have it overlap. So start right there, and then we put a little bit more glue, and you're just going to keep working your way around. And once you end up with about maybe three or four inches, you're and gonna stuff the rest, the rest. in. Okay. okay, so this is basically how you make your pillow. Now to make the little face, we just used felt. These are the eyes. I just cut out these long ovals. And if you take a look, you know, depending on yes. where you put them, oh, how cute. like Super the shape, cute. The, the attitude that our oh little marshmallow yeah. has, you could make them like a little wonky. Oh. So you can do them however you want. And you would basically yeah. lay them on just like this. Figure out it's felt, so it's gonna kind of oh. stick. So you can look at it and make like sure everything is even. Yes. Yeah, Whoa. and then go in with your hot glue. Well, what's the alternative? What if I didn't want? What if I wanted to make be able to do different googly eyes? You and just not would glue move. Them. Oh, so you could use a little bit glue of um, uh, double stick Velcro. Oh. Yeah, and actually, I what's a really that. And they cute, come in cylinders too. They do. Like they that. do, and you can cut them even little pieces. And what would be really cute is if you wanted to maybe make this little guy for right now, but you didn't want it to be permanent. You wanted to make this one later, you could do all of these, like all the decorations with double stick Velcro, take it off and then turn it into For a peppermint. For any holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halloween. So you, just, you just have like your yep. marshmallow base. Perfect. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> what is I love the cost it. on this, Orly, before we go? It's, it's $3. I mean, it's nothing. It's just, it's a couple of bucks just for some fabric. Amazing. You know what? I gotta I be honest. I love it. I felt really good about that. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, Mark? Wow. Did you hear that?